Hey guys, Nate Outdoors here. I'm gonna be fishing in many ponds today. I'm gonna be doing like a challenge, and then I'm gonna be fishing for whatever bites, kind of really, on some fish bites that I'm trying out for the first time. But for the challenge, we're gonna try out this little old um, minnow right here. It's really tiny, like think maybe some bluegill um and most likely some bass will bite this so yeah stay tuned for the first fish okay guys so we just caught the first fish of the day at uh, it's like a good pound bass first no second second cast um we got one on the little minnow the only reason I want I try I got this little minnow because a few days ago I saw that these bass were coming up to the shore, shore and um, eating uh, the minnows, the little mosquito fish. So I decided this was the closest thing to it that I could actually like, you know, it was like a crankbait. So yeah, first fish of the day. It would be a pound if it was like fat, but he's really skinny. So, he's about, uh, like, I don't know, half a pound, maybe. I don't know. But, yeah, guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, just caught another fish. And I was hoping I would catch one this small. I know it's kind of, you know, hard to catch small bass, but this is probably the smallest bass I've ever caught. Definitely. This is, like, only, like, a few months old. And this was insane. It's so, like I was just reeling it in right off this thing. And right when I was about to take it out of the water, he, um, when I was reeling it in, he literally came up, jumped out of the water with it in his mouth, and I, and then I couldn't even set the hook. I just kept reeling it in, and I got him up. But yeah, he was hooked pretty good. One in the mouth, one in the back. I don't think he would have been able to get out, but. Yeah, stay tuned for the next fish. I'm probably going to leave this pond and go fish another one for some bluegill. So, yeah, guys, um, I'll be back with you when I catch another fish.